Hey, it's Switch Queen here. So there's a gross invasion of privacy if you're attending BlizzCon 2019. Basically, you should take precautions and be wary because it's essentially spyware. So if you didn't know, Blizzard recently released new details on BlizzCon and, you know, what to expect. One of the requirements for all attendees is you need to bring your phone, your smartphone. Why? Because you need to download the AXS mobile app in order to have your ticket scanned. They are not accepting paper tickets, printouts, email confirmations, like screenshots of receipts or your tickets or anything else. So, yeah, why this is concerning is they want to prevent scams and fraud, so you get this QR code that gets scanned and it will change every few hours to prevent, you know, fraud and scams and whatnot, which is understandable. However, this app is essentially spyware. It takes it, you need to grant so many permissions for this app, which is a ticketing app. So let's go through what you should be concerned about. So this Redditor, Death Coil, they basically went through and listed a lot. They also listed more information, but to try and summarize everything they wrote, this app needs a lot of permission, including contacts. It'll read your contacts. Your location, it'll take an approximate like, it'll track your location via GPS or networks or anything else, including Wi-Fi. Even if, so, if you turn off GPS, it'll track your movements inside the venue a different way. It will take photos and videos, or it can take. It will view your Wi-Fi connections. It can receive data from the internet. It can view network connections. It can pair with Bluetooth devices. It will have full network access. It will prevent your device from sleeping so your screen will always be on. It will read your battery statistics and know how much battery you'll have. It will access Bluetooth settings, full network access. It runs at startup, so every time you turn on your phone, the app just runs right there in the background. And it can modify your system settings. There's also a lot more, and this is concerning because this applies to everyone who is attending BlizzCon. Everyone who buys a ticket needs to download this app in order to get onto the premises inside the venue, which is just crazy. It will also see if you purchase anything in the store, in the app or anything you don't purchase. It sends a lot of data to third party parties, I should say, and it's just crazy. If you read and go through the privacy statement, it clearly states that it will take your information and it will give it, sell it to third parties. Like, this is crazy. So there is one solution, it's a help desk solution, I believe, where it says if you are having trouble with the app, 
you can go to the help desk solutions in order to get your ticket scanned or something. Can't remember, but it seems there is only one workaround rather than this. This is crazy. It's one code for all your tickets and it's just so weird that they're doing this. It's so much privacy and it's just, I don't know, I think more people should be talking about this and giving, you know, commenting, remarking, making remarks to Blizzard. Hopefully they'll change this, but I doubt this. Maybe it'll change for BlizzCon 2020, but who knows? What do you think? Are you going to BlizzCon this year? What do you think about needing to download an app in order to get your ticket scanned? Leave your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, favorite, comment below, or tweet me at Witch Queen and subscribe. Thanks for watching.